Well, everybody, today's the 12th of May. I'm gonna step outside. It's a rain day again. It rained uh, yesterday. It started raining the day before. It's pretty wet out. Got uh, pretty much everything ready to plant corn. Went out uh, a few days ago and tried. Had the fertilizer pump problems. It wasn't prime. Had some junk in one of the valves. Had to take the pump apart. Should have recorded it, but I didn't. And uh, then a lot of, a few of my fertilizer lines, like right there and there. Wow, everything's so weird there. They were plugged up with uh, crusty crap. So took the, that day to do that, and I had, uh, I just decided today I was gonna pull it in the shed and doing this project here so I'm gonna show you guys what's going on there all right well the problem are those pins kind of been halfway down or a quarter of the way down but them pins are war I'm gonna show you what happens when they're war I thought they'd be okay but they're not gonna make her the year so I decided since it was rain I couldn't plant but you see how much wheel movement we have there um that's not good it allows the wheel to come out in between the disc and the wheel there fills with mud or dirt not mud but dirt and it stops that wheel from turning so putting new pins in not a real expensive project but de definitely costs some money um this one i got the keys in all these i guess but you can see now there's no well there's still a little bit of play but not very much between the disc there. Actually, some of them don't have any play, like that one don't have any play. This one don't have any play. That one I forgot to put the key in, so that's what's wrong with that. So I might try to set the camera up and what, let you guys watch me do this row back here and it will hopefully see how it turns out. All right, I already took the cotter keys out, so you guys are gonna miss the that. simple job when everything works right.
think I'll show you this guy this one side. how bad them pins are wore. I didn't realize they were that bad. Um, they're terrible. So that's why we're replacing them on a rainy day. I'm replacing them on a rainy day so we don't have uh, problems here later in the season. We've got a lot of acres to cover. We're running way behind schedule uh, 10 days later than last year. Almost. I think I started shoving corn in the ground either the third or the fourth last year. I can't remember. I have to look back and see, but um, we're just way behind. The weather hasn't cooperated. It's been cold and wet. I'm actually really glad we didn't plant any corn yet because that last two days, one of the highs in the 50s and we get rain, and it was raining when it was 40 degrees out, that's pretty hard on that corn seed. So anyhow, I guess I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully it was educational for you, and uh you guys have any questions on this planner um, my fertilizer set up there or this planner to 955 if you guys have any questions I'm gonna do a, re, a you know like a video of the planner and everything once I get started planting and I'm in a decent mood and you know I'll answer them there so I appreciate you guys watching please comment and subscribe and y'all have a good one